everyone welcome back to chemarkam in this video we are going to explore suzuki reaction or suzuki mura coupling reaction if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe to get more engaging content today let's dive into the suzuki reaction suzuki reaction is one of the palladium catalyzed carbon carbon coupling reaction between organoborant with a vinyl or aryl or aryl triplet is called suzuki reaction let's consider this scheme here you see argono halide or argono triplet which readily react with argono borane such as boronic acid or boronic ester compound in the presence of palladium zero and basic condition which produce carbon carbon coupling products so here r1 can be either aryl or alkene in case of x can be either collagens or triplet so in case of argono borane r2 can be aryl alkene and alkyne in case of R3, if it's hydrogen, it's called boronic acid. If it's alkyl, it's called boronic ester compound. So base. So let's come to the base. So various inorganic bases can be useful for in this reaction, such as sodium carbonate, potassium carbonate, cesium carbonate, and also fluoride type of bases also useful, such as potassium fluoride, cesium fluoride. And similarly, metal alkoxide also can be useful as a suitable base for this carbon carbon coupling reaction. So, the Suzuki reaction is one of the important carbon carbon coupling reaction that can be useful for preparation of stereo and regio, so regio specifically conjugated dienes, enienes, and aryl substituted alkenes. Apart from this, this method highly useful for biaryl compounds also. So, let's see the catalytic cycle to better understand how this reaction worked in magnetically. So initially palladium 0 or palladium 2 precatalyst can be useful for this reaction. If you take the palladium 2 precatalyst, you need to add some suitable ligand in order to generate palladium 0 in situ. Now this palladium complex is 14 electron species which readily undergo oxidative addition with argono triplate or argono halides. So which produce this corresponding palladium species. Now this palladium species is 16 electron species. So particularly in this step is called oxidative addition. So after the oxidative addition, this palladium species so readily undergo metathesis reaction with base. So here you see sodium hydroxide readily replaced with this halogen group, which produce corresponding sodium halide along with this, this palladium species. Now you see the palladium species is 16 electron species as well as palladium 2 plus in state. So here you see what happened exactly. This hydroxide ion readily replaced with that means that ligand X exchange takes place to produce this corresponding palladium species. After get this palladium species, which readily undergo transmetallation reaction with argonoboronic acid. So now you see this argonoboronic acid, it, which interact with this palladium species, which produce boric acid byproduct along with this palladium species. So once again, this one is here, 16 electron species. So particularly in this step is called transmetallation step. So here you see closely this R2 group just exchanged into this palladium species. So after the formation of this species, which undergo reductive elimination to produce this carbon-carbon coupling product. So particularly this step is called reductive elimination. So next slide, we'll see the each step in more detail. So first we will see the oxidative addition. So now you consider this example. Here you see bromopentane, which readily react with palladium zero complex, which produce corresponding oxidative addition product. So initially, which produce cis complex, which readily isomerize under this reaction condition, which produce trans complex. So let's see the order of reactivity for the oxidative addition. So now you consider the series of alkenyl, aryl, or alkyl halide. In this series, alkenyl halide uh, will react more fastly when compared to the alkyl halide. In case of leaving group, iodide containing compounds undergo readily oxidative addition compared to the chlorine containing compounds. In case of chlorine containing compounds, if we add some electron rich ligand which readily induce to undergo oxidative addition reaction quickly. So the oxidative addition reaction is known to undergo retention stereochemistry when you use the alkene compounds. In case of 
either allylic or benzylic collides if you use you will get the inversion stereochemistry so let's consider this example here you see this one is benzylic collides when you add the palladium zero species which attack the pack side of uh, the corresponding benzylic collide which produce inversion stereochemistry so next we are moving on transient metallization so this is the important step in this catalytic cycle so now you consider uh, this example so here you see the oxidative addition species which is going to react with this boronic ester part in the presence of base. So initially this reaction can undergo two type of pathway. In path A, so this base readily attack with boron atom which produce this corresponding intermediate along with this corresponding oxidative addition uh, palladium species or otherwise this base directly interact with palladium species which readily undergo metathesis reaction which produce this corresponding palladium species along with so this boronic ester part so this both uh, route ultimately to provide this corresponding same transient state so now you see initially in path a so this alkoxy species i mean this or group which readily interact with palladium which produce this corresponding transient state or otherwise so here you see this palladium species alkoxy group which readily interact with this boronate part which produce this corresponding transient state after the formation of the transient state so here you see because of this addition of or group that enhance the nucleophilic character of this particular carbon Therefore, which readily attacks the palladium species then followed by this palladium oxygen bond cleave to move the electron to the formation of boron oxygen bond. So, which produce this corresponding intermediate species along with this boronate ester part. So, the organo boron compounds in general are highly covalent in character. Therefore, without base, this reaction doesn't happen. Therefore, the base is crucial for Suzuki reaction. So let's move on reductive elimination step. So the reductive elimination is a just a reverse of oxidative addition step. So initially the trans complex under the reaction condition which readily change into the corresponding cis form. So after the formation of cis form which readily undergo reductive elimination to produce this corresponding carbon-carbon coupling product. So notably the isomerization of the cis complex is required before the reductive elimination can occur. Next moving on relative rates of reductive elimination from palladium complexes. So now you see the aryl aryl uh, coupling is faster when compared to the alkyl alkyl coupling based on this series. So next we moving on catalyst and ligands for uh, this Suzuki reaction. Usually palladium tetrakis is useful, but other palladium sources uh, such as palladium 2 precatalyzed along with uh, suitable ligands can be useful. For example, palladium tibenzlidine acetone along with triphenyl phosphine can be useful and similarly palladium acetate as well as triphenyl phosphine also useful. When you use this type of condition that produce in situ palladium zero species, which is a catalytically active form. In case of sp3 sp2 coupling people mostly use palladium chloride and dppf act as a ligand in case of solvent pipacic solvent is mostly useful for the suzuki reaction or aqueous environment in addition to organic solvent so next we moving on organoborines a variety of organoborines can be useful for in this reaction such as organoboronic acid boronate ester as well as catechol borane, boronate ester, and dicemyl borane, as well as some sterically hinted borane, and also useful for potassium trifluoroboronate. So, the steric hindrance of organo boranes can lead to decrease the reactivity of Suzuki reaction, and order of reactivity can be see in this series. Here you see SP carbon borane is more reactive when compared to the sp3 carbon borane bond let's see how to prepare the organoborane since 
in uh, most of the competitive exam papers they mostly ask preparation of organoborants and followed by their rea their reaction with suzuki coupling reaction therefore definitely we should know how to prepare the organoborant so this is the one of the method to prepare the organoborant for example when you take the krikna reagent or organolithium which readily react with boronate which produce corresponding organoboronate species when you treat with acid workup which produce corresponding boronic acid or when you treat with potassium bifluoride which readily produce potassium trifluoroborate so this potassium trifluoroborate is highly useful when compared to the boronic acid since boronic acid is easily accessible however it is associated with uh, purification as well as storing uh, issues therefore potassium trifluoroborate in this point of view highly useful for the suzuki reaction so next we moving on preparation of e alkanyl borane reagent for the preparation of e alkanyl borane reagent here you see when you take the terminal alkyne when you react with catechol borane which readily produce corresponding e alkanyl boron reagent so this boron part which attacks the terminal alkane position at the same time the hydrogen ordered in the uh, inner position of alkane so in simply this reaction undergo by anti markovnikov addition rule and similarly when you use diacetyl boron that also undergo similar type of uh, reaction which produce this corresponding e alkanyl boron reagent and similarly when you take the dibromo boron that one also undergo similar type of anti anti markovnikov addition which produce this corresponding product when you treat with alcohol which produce corresponding boronate ester or otherwise when you use potassium bifluoride which produce this corresponding potassium salt of trifluoroborate going on preparation of zeta alkanyl boron reagent for this when you take the alkanyl halide when react with dibromo borane and followed by isopropanol which produces corresponding boronate species after that when you react with potassium isopropoxy borohydride or tertiary butyl lithium which produces this corresponding intermediate species after that here you see this hydride ion transfer to this center then followed by kick off the halogen atom which produces corresponding z alkanyl boron reagent So next we moving on examples of Suzuki reaction. Let's consider this first example. Here you see the boronic acid, which readily reacts with bromobenzene in the presence of palladium zero complex, which produces corresponding carbon-carbon coupling product. So this is the another example. Here you see this compound containing chlorine, chlorine atom. So therefore we need some bond electron rich phosphine. which ready which readily undergo carbon carbon coupling reaction which produce this corresponding product so just like argon halide argon triplide also which readily undergo suzuki reaction which produce this corresponding product so this is one of the interesting example here you closely see this compound having triplet as well as chlorine atom therefore when you use palladium uh, complex as well as electron rich alkyne that selectively undergo carbon carbon coupling with this position rather than argon triplet part so which produce corresponding carbon carbon coupling product so uh, let's see some more example so just like uh, aryl aryl coupling hetero aryl hetero aryl coupling also feasible under suzuki reaction condition now you consider this so bromoquinoline which readily react with pridin boronic acid which produce this corresponding carbon carbon coupling product so this is the another example so here you see this boron argon boron which readily uh, cross coupled with this chloro compound in the presence of uh, palladium as well as tricyclophosphine as a electron rich phosphine which readily undergo carbon carbon coupling which produces this corresponding product so this uh, boron part is called 9 ppn we will see what exactly 9 ppn in our upcoming slide so this is the another example so just uh, just we stated in our introduction section so this method highly useful for stereo and regio specific carbon carbon bond forming reaction so here you see this boron part which readily coupled with this iodo part which produce this corresponding product here you see 
this alkene geometry E as well as this alkene geometry EZ uh, doesn't change after this Suzuki reaction. So this is the another example. Here you see here you see dicamyl borane part which readily coupled with this, this alkanyl bromo part in the presence of palladium zero which produce this corresponding enayin. Let's move on some more example for solidify our knowledge on Suzuki reaction. Let's consider uh, this example. Here you see alkene which uh, react in first step 9 BBN. So this one is called 9 BBN. This one is hysterically tinted boron species which readily undergo anti morconic of addition which produce corresponding boron reagent. After the formation of boron reagent in the presence of palladium catalysis which readily coupled with this iodo compound which produce this corresponding carbon carbon coupling product. So this is the another example as well as the interesting example. Here you closely see this compound having boronic acid. So similarly this compound having boron species as well as bromo part. However, this boron part is protected with this group. So in fact, this group is called a meta borane. Therefore, under anhydrous reaction condition, condition, this meta borane doesn't involve in this reaction. Therefore, this boronic acid part as well as this bromo part readily coupled with each other to produce this carbon-carbon coupling product. In case of if you use hydrous condition, this boron also slowly reacts with this promo part to produce corresponding carbon-carbon coupling product. Next, we're moving on another example. So our first step, which involves the generation of boron reagent, then followed by which readily undergo intramolecular carbon-carbon coupling reaction in the presence of palladium catalysis, which produce this corresponding product. So this Suzuki reaction highly useful in industrial application to prepare the biologically active compounds. So this is the one of the example. Here you see this chloro compound which readily react with this uh, boronate species in the presence of palladium zero, which readily produce this corresponding carbon-carbon coupling product. So this one acts as yeah, some bioactive product. So finally, we come to the end of this video. I hope this Suzuki reaction video has expanded your knowledge. So here are some of the practice problems when you get the free time you just give your try so if you enjoyed this content you just like share and comment so if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe to get more engaging content until next time bye bye